Hello, 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 Earthly Virgo. Happy Monday to you. I hope that you all are going to have a good holiday tomorrow. Tomorrow I will be open for same day reading up until, let's say, five o'clock tomorrow, Central Standard Time. I also, uh, I, w- I went live uh, last night, but lot, not a lot of people was there. So I ended it, I think, after like maybe 40, 45 minutes or something like that. But I'll be doing that again soon. And I will let you all know when I will be going live. So let's get started on your reading. What's coming up for you in July? Virgo, what is coming up for you in the month of July? Got the page of sorts. Coming up for Virgo in July. We have the page of cups. Some uh some like some um young young people energy, young folks stuff, young folks shit. Okay, ten of swords. Okay. Um, we got somebody here who is is like really cut cutthroat, you know, kind of person, you know. Um I don't know, it's it's almost as if you got some people around you. I'm hearing some shady people being stabbed in the back by some people. Um, you're with a group of people, but then you got somebody else uh, wants to come in. And we got we got Hierophant, though. Now, this might be some sort of disagreement that's going to pull you into the office or, or just pull you in, you know, to talk to somebody. Like some sort of argument or disagreement. I've been seeing an argument or disagreement big time coming up for you all. Just a big knockout, knockdown, drag out argument or fight or whatever, Okay. It's like somebody don't want to see you happy. Somebody don't want to see you enjoying yourself, having a good time. Might happen tomorrow with the family or a couple of friends. I'm hearing a couple of loose friends. People just want to always come and start some kind of fight or some sort of argument and always want to be the one and think that they don't want, they didn't want something. Or, yeah, I did this. I didn't conquer all of these fools. And, you know, but I, I just feel like whoever this is, I don't know, I see you. Kind of like in this page of cups energy, but you're in a crowd, you know, talking to some people, having a good time, however you want to look at it. But you got somebody here who's coming in who wants to get in the middle of it. You know what they say? Um, hurt people hurt people, or, or people like something about when they're not, they're not having a good time, they don't want you to have a good time. Misery loves company, okay? Misery loves, loves company. So instead of all of us getting together, having a good time, you're going to come in and mess everybody up. You know, or you all can get together and have a fun and they get messed up because you you want to come in and have a good time. You don't, you're not going to wreck our party. We're here to have a good time. If you're not here to have a good time with us, you can bounce. You can bounce. We got the person here who the, the person that's in charge, the ruler or whatever. And you got to respect the elders. You got to respect me. If you come into my party or my get together, you got to respect me. OK, we're here to have a good time. We're here to enjoy ourselves, eat, drink some barbecue, eat and drink. Eat some barbecue, drink some beer, whatever it is, Miller High Life, or whatever you drink. You know, we're here to have a good time. This is a good day for us to just chill out, you know, but you want to come in and cause trouble. And then you want to think that you, you're the one that's on top. OK, but I think in the, in the long run, this person is going to realize that, no, we're not going to let you come over here and mess us over. You know, so I feel like you're going to give this person a run for their money or somebody in your immediate friendship circle our circle is because no everybody wants to have a good time we're not here for this bs it's like it's too much going on in the world now can we all just get along you know i just feel like whatever's going on somebody's going to come and try to throw a wrench in your good time what's going on here for virgo please I have here, yeah, nothing. There's nothing that you are going, you or anybody else that's going to do to allow this person to come in and ruin your good time, all right? All you want is peace at, at this party of this get together. You want to create a space for peace or you want to be invited or a part of a place of peace, but you know, somebody won't allow it, all right? We got to reach for the stars. You know, if you're not listening to what the hell we're saying, if you don't have some sort of integrity, the integrity that you need to party with us and have a good time, you want to get there, you know, want to come just come over here and be a, a shit starter? Uh-uh. No. They want to just come in and ruin everybody else's time. We got purification. You know, we're here to enjoy ourselves, to have a nice, clean party, nice, nice, clean, family-oriented get-together. You know, we got courage and we got hope. 
Okay. So I feel like this person thinks that, that they have a lot going on, that they can come in and be a shit starter or a shit disturber. They, they, this person has a lot of fluff. Okay. And I have this hope card here. I, I hope this person come here today and start tripping with me because I'm going to give him or her a run for my money, for a run for the money. So I hope they do come here and start shit like they always do. They think they got the courage. They think they got the balls. They think they got the big titties to come in into a family functions and want to fuck with everybody's good time. They want to come there, drink, or get them a plate. They don't want to bring anything. So always talking about shit. Always want to be a shit starter. Ain't, and want to come to the party or to get together empty handed. Okay. Want to come empty handed, starting some shit. And want, then we got the nerd to want to take a plate home with them, with, with them when they leave. They didn't bring shit. We got forgiveness. So you got responsibility. So, Virgo, I don't think that you could really do anything to this person physically. You may be able to curse this person out. So they won't so they will know not to mess with you again or anybody in the family. But I feel like somebody has to have that responsibility, possibly an elder, to say, no, I'll just let it go. Just go ahead and let him or her take the plate and let him go ahead on so we can get back to having have it, so we can enjoy ourselves. Just let him let it go. We don't want to cause no no rigmarole, no roughness, no, no unnecessary roughness up in here today. You forgive this person because you know how they are. You know, and just let it go and keep on doing what you're doing. Let's just keep having a good time. Don't let this person come and spoil our good time. And that's what I see here. Family having a good time. Spring having a good, a good time. But one person want to come in. Uncle Benny <laughs> or Auntie Susu want to come in. Fucking with everybody. Sit your ass down somewhere. See, y'all know that that woman or that man going to come in and mess some things up. That's just who they are. All right. But somebody already told you, let it go. You know, she's going to come in here tripping. Okay. Just let it go. But we're going to let it flow for now. But if she come in here tripping off, you come up here starting some trouble, it's on. It's on and popping. Because y'all are very aware that this person is going to come in and cause a hot, messy situation like they always do. Okay? Just don't go. Just don't be a part of it. You know, just let it be even kill. There you go. Somebody going to put this person in their place. It's already been mentioned. In, in, in infinity, this person's never ever going to change. They're going to keep doing what they are always doing. They're going to do what they've always done, and there's nothing that can change it. Okay. And we have synchronicity. I think that this person, I feel like they have a very low uh, opinion of themselves. They possibly have tried to do good or do the right thing, but it never sent, it never tended to work out for them. Uh, they feel a little lost in their life and they feel like they're a failure. So I'm hearing stupid is as stupid does, you know. So this person and, and we got to listen. So this person has a, a way of listening to the negative things that people say, but they're more so in tune to what that's all they hear. They hear the negative. They don't, they don't hear anything good about themselves. Maybe they have done good. People chose to overlook the good because of the bad. But I just feel like I've, if this person just gave it a chance and the willingness to do to do right but more so to respect the people around them i feel like this person loves to be seen and heard you know they love to be seen and heard they want to be the they want to be front and and center and no matter what is going on like they're the person in charge like they're the person that bought the food and, and and invited everybody they think that they're over everything they want to judge everything they always have something to say okay and really it, it has nothing to do it has nothing to do with them but they think it has everything to do with them. Okay, I'm hearing the name Kenneth. And we have serenity. I just want some peace and grief. So this person actually could be grieving uh, over some things that took place in their life, some wounds that never healed, maybe some childhood wounds or trauma and drama that they never experienced. I'm hearing they live live a, t a hard knock life. This person has possibly been been homeless, living on the streets, uh, possibly on drugs or, or prostitution or something like that. They just haven't had the best life. And when they get around a group of people, they think that people are tarnishing them or talking about them because of who they are and because of their character, the way they have always been. So I feel like well, there, it's like, damn if I do, damn if I, I, if I don't, but I am going to make my, myself known. I have purpose and I have patience. So your purpose right now to do with this person, to do with this person, to deal with this person is to just have patience because you know how they are. You know, possibly they may never change. They're going to always do what they've always done, cause trouble and commotion no matter where it is they are at. And honestly, I feel like that's a cry for help. 
Okay. That's why I feel like the elders or someone in particular is telling you, you know, just let it go. We already know that they may come in here and trip. Just don't even worry about it. Just let it go. You got one person that say, I'm going to beat that ass if they come in here tripping with me. But then we got somebody on the other end of the spectrum say, you know what? Don't worry about it. We already know what to expect. Let's just have a good time in spite of. All right. Happy 4th of July. Talk to y'all later.